It's, it's episode five, man. Diamond Do Show. You know what it is. Do So Official, Dom the Kid. We got a special guest in this motherfucker, man. Yes, Go sir. Ahead, brother. What's your name? Where you from? Young yeah, drummer, the Undisputed Max out here in the streets. You already know what time it is, man. You know what I'm saying? You did. You, you did. did. You know what I mean? Did. The people's champ. Let's you know go. You did. You know what I mean? They done, brought, they done brought the tank up in this motherfucker. You might hear it in the background. I don't know. <laughs> we're about to take nah, it. Nah, we're getting ready for a birthday party, man. You know, you know we saying? on full community with this one. We for sure on full community. Yeah, we yeah. in it, bitch. Yeah, we lit today, yeah, man. man. Right. What's up, man? Before we even get started, man, you had a special request for the podcast, man. He said, all I need is some milk. <laughs> What's up with the milk? Why you need some milk? What is that? I mean, milk. I mean, milk. Milk cap. You come down. Milk cap. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different reasons why I fuck with it and shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's your favorite drink, though? That's a, hey, I'll be sipping on that. You know what I mean? People what you mean? Is that out. like a chaser with like the alcohol, or is that just like you just nah, drinking milk? I just be drinking it, bro. milk. <laughs> What man? <laughs> I just be he drinking. Not chocolate milk. Not he needs the right. Yeah, I don't even. You know what I'm milk. saying? Like I don't be tri- like we be at the club and shit like that. I'll be like, let me get a glass of milk and shit. Yeah, yeah. Let me get some milk. Whatever. <laughs> they got this shit. They the trip club? out. They trip out. Like what you what you want milk for and shit? Like you know everybody sipping on handy sipping yeah, whatever. I'm yeah. just sipping some milk. Like what's up, man? I'm yeah, chill. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Still knocking hoes though. You know what I mean? Yeah, that part. <laughs> Hell yeah, they gonna like it more. Oh, God, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, I'm gonna need some strawberry milk, man. Fuck yeah, it ain't too much behind the milk though. It's just something I like to drink here and there and shit. You feel me? That's gotta be the most random request though. Like it is, right? I ever heard <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. out of everything, buddy. We just wanted some milk, like yeah, 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 yeah. not no Real. blood ribs, not no alcohol. You know, just milk. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, bro. Where you from, man? Like, like, what, where'd you grow up? Where'd you start rapping at? Pomona, man. Start? Pomona. That's where I was born and raised. at. you know what I'm saying? And you started yeah. off rapping. I started producing. That's what I started doing. Okay, so you, but before you was rapping, you was producing. Is that how you got the name Jumper Boy? Yep. Hell yeah. We was yeah. producer, man. We producer. I was producer for years, bro. Like years and years of shit before I actually started rapping and shit. You know what I mean? Let's Hell talk yeah. about before the music, though. What was drummer? What was you doing before the music, and what got you into to the music? Gang banging. Gang banging. Yeah, gang bang. I was gang banging for uh, you know what I'm saying uh, most of my young life and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talking about 13, 14 and shit. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. <clears throat> and um, you know what I mean? We, we, you know, from there we would dabble in music and shit. You know what I mean? But most yeah. of it was just like fuck enemies type shit. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Everything, all, the whole the whole music shit was just all like fuck enemies, fuck that. Fuck, you know what I mean? Fuck the other side type vibe and shit. But um, you know what I mean? From there, some shit had happened with my little cousin. Uh, so I was making beats. Oh, y'all got a chunky one. Man. So I was making beats and shit, and uh, my little cousin was rapping. You know what I mean? He he had it, bro. Like he was he was doing his shit. You know what I mean? Like. When it came to that gangster shit, like he was really, he was really on it. And I was just making beats. Then uh, he had caught this case and shit. They put him away for, uh, for life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So then after that, I didn't have nobody else to rap on my beats and shit. You know what I mean? And then um, I just started rapping on it. My brother Smokey was like, "Man, you got to rap, bro." You know what I mean? And then that's kind of like where, it, where it started at. Did you ever think you was gonna be a rapper? Like just starting out, just like being young. Did you think you like, damn, I'm gonna be an artist? Or did you think like producing was gonna be like the? I didn't like think nothing rap. was going to pan out, to be real. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? It was just something we was doing. Yeah. You so know what I mean? So what took you to the next, to the next level? Yeah, what was, the, what was like the like the move where you like, hell yeah, this is where I know like, I done broke through? Bro, I mean, with music, you never really know. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Do you feel like right now you've, you've, you've already broke through? Do you, or you think you, you still got a ways to go? We got a ways <laughs> to go, but you know what I'm saying? A motherfucker's <laughs> eating off this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like... Bro, this is my full time, you know what I'm saying? I was able to buy, you know what I mean, a pad, you know what I mean? I'm already on my next, going to my next pad, you know what I mean? Trying to buy my next pad with it, you know what I mean? Got, you know, take care of my team and shit like that. You know, we got a few nice little whips. To do that off of music, bro, if I don't, if I ain't saying I made it, I'll be dumb. Because, yeah, you know facts, what I'm saying, facts. that's it, bro. 100%, I felt that You know what I well. mean? You got to think about where you was seven, eight, nine years ago to now, you know what I'm saying, owning property. You know what I mean? Put a, you know, having homies on payroll and shit like that. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Sometimes it's hard to see that from the out from when you inside, but if you look from the outside looking in, you know what I'm saying, you 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 know you're really doing something and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell yeah. You know, so I wouldn't be walking around like, yeah, I made it and shit, because motherfuckers have the same mentality, the same grind, and we all in that race. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? We all in that race to keep to 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 keep going, keep going. See, the more shit you get, the more the more shit you acquire. It makes you work. You got to work twice as harder to maintain that. You know what I'm saying? So, hundred percent. It's just kind of like that, bro. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, yeah hell yeah. But what do you think is that 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 one that that, that moment that put you up? You what was me? your like, most viral gave, gave, moment? Gave you gave you the recognition, like for me, put you from just a regular local rapper to a are right, you up and coming now? You feel me? You your shit. At the same time, I feel them because I like, ain't shit happen overnight either. You know, right, what I'm right, right. I, facts. I mean, you know, when we first started getting touching those views, that's when it, that I think that's like a defining moment. You know what I'm saying? My first time seeing you, I think, was on the uh, what was it? It was a, uh, it was with King Lil G. It was a song. I think it was like Windows. Some, some, oh yeah. See, I was mainly a producer over there, though. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was mainly, I was like producing everything. So you was making all those beats? A gang of them, bro. Okay, okay. How's your relationship with King, uh, King Lil G? Right now, just, bro, you know what I'm saying? He does his shit, I do mine. Hell you yeah. know what I'm saying? I think to progress as an artist and shit, you know what I mean? Um, you got to branch off and do what you do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, 100%. Because no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you work with different artists and, and you know, when you work together and shit, um, everybody's... You got to focus on yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, you could try to do it as a team, and if it works out, you know what I'm saying, you got to have that strong relationship. But, you know what I mean, if, if if that shit ain't there, you know what I'm saying, like, he couldn't do nothing to, to accelerate me, and I really couldn't do nothing to accelerate him because at the same time, you know what I mean, we're both working to, to, to get to, to somewhere we need to go, and it took a lot of work, bro, a lot of work. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Sometimes it'd be like two stars can't like coexist with each other. You know what I'm right, saying? Like right, y'all both true, gotta true. have y'all own like lane. You know, sometimes yeah, there's mandatory. power there's power in numbers, but you yeah. know, not everybody could be the, the captain. Sometimes you gotta have two captains on two separate teams, and ain't nothing wrong with that. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, exactly, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, but see, I'm like so me right. myself, before I started signing any artists, like you know, I just signed my boy Charlie Stone and shit from Compton. Uh, before I, I even I even like opened my mind up to signing anybody. I, I made sure, bro, I waited years. I made sure I was comfortable. I was where I needed to be at. That way I could, I could focus my energy towards him. Hell yeah. yeah. You Hell know yeah. what I'm saying? Because that's important right there. You know what I mean? You, so what's like the main goal for an artist that you signing for them? Are you, are you trying to push them to a major or is it something like we, we the family all trying to eat and we just trying to grow this shit together? <clears throat> my main goal is to give him everything I have, my fan base. I How want him to take it all. Is, is that right, now it's just, right now it's just Charlie that's, Stone. That's perfect though. You don't yeah. want to have six artists signed. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Like, I think who, who came up, Swifty came up here. He was like, I got everyone signed. You feel me? I'm like, it's so hard to dedicate your time to to 12 different artists, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I would, yeah. I would rather want to be signed to an artist that's only focused on me, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, I took my time with it, bro, you know what I'm saying? And then when I, when I signed Charlie, I was like, okay, I already know. You know what I mean? I can't I can't promise him the world, but I could promise him to show you, to show him everything I know. Hell yeah. yeah. And how I did it, to, to you know, how, how I got to where I needed to be at right now and shit, you yeah. feel me? You know, so that's what I, that's what I have to offer. You know Hell what I mean? yeah. I ain't going to tell you, look, I'm going to, I'm going to, we gonna blow you up, then we gonna. What's get the you package signed. though? You sign, you sign, you sign him up. What's the package like? What he, what he, what like? You when when you even having that discussion like, what's coming with that? Everything that I got. Like you like, I'm, you get any feature yeah. like any day like. Bro, we dropped, we dropped the album forever up. That's just out right now. I'm on every single song yeah. with him. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, you know, we we in the studio together, making sure the songs are. You know, what I'm saying he's able to capture my fan base. Because yeah. at the end of the day, what I have to offer to any any artist that I sign. And that goes for, you know what I'm saying, anybody that's signing people that's an artist, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? If you ain't a label, you an artist, right? Yeah. Signing people. You got to give them your audience. That's all you <laughs> that's have all to you, offer. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. it. Look, you, you gonna, you, I want you to take my audience. I want you to take my monthly listeners. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, this is what I got for you. Yeah, eat off you know this. what I'm saying? Yeah. And, then, and, you know, the business is real lucrative, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh. You know, you ain't got to be, you know what I'm saying, uh, a, a superstar to eat off this shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You just got to have the streets behind you. And luckily, man, the streets been behind me since day one. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah facts. Yeah, you yeah. know? Because we done turned down major deals, bro. We done turned down, you know what I'm saying, real big bags and shit to stay independent. And uh, and I'm only able to do that because I have my fan base and, my, and the streets behind me type shit. 100%. How you feel about... Like, all the talk about, like, the king of the Chicano rap and shit like that. Who you, who you think that is? The, the king of Chicano <laughs> rap? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, I got to give it up to the homies, right? I mean, I know yeah. I know G-Rabs, Conejo, and shit like that. You know what I mean? Uh, I seen them dudes, uh, the Coyotes, I seen them. They, they, they jumped on that as well, right? Yeah. yeah uh, 
you know, there's a few other people that, that jumped on, on on saying that, you know. But I mean, are you putting yourself in that box too? Or are you like, I'm a rapper for everybody? I'm not just like a. Yeah, I'm a look. I'm a Mexican and I rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before nobody, you know, what's funny is that before nobody wanted to categorize themselves, categorize themselves as a kind of rapper. Yeah, but it's blowing up now, though. You know, the, the, right. the fan base yeah. is growing. Like, what well, a fan base been there, bro? Like, look, I'm we, yeah, we going like, on this tour. When I when I you know what I'm saying and I've been this is like my fifth, sixth, seventh tour. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And when we go out to these places like Salt Lake City, we go out to Oregon, we go out to uh, you know what I'm saying, Washington, um, you know what I mean, like Oklahoma, bro, all you gonna find out there is Mexicans. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. At my shows and shit, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So it's always been there, you know right, what I mean? Right. Uh the thing that I find funny is that if you look back to interviews that were made, say a year ago. And you bring up the word Chicano rap to any one of these rap artists, oh, yeah. Yeah. first thing they gonna say is, "I ain't in that category. I right. ain't in that box." Right. Yeah. And then like, a year later, motherfuckers, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, come That's on, it. man. I always avoided that. You know what I'm saying? I had when I was talking to uh, Chuck when I did this interview with Chuck Dizzle and uh, and DJ Head. He asked me about this whole Chicano rap shit, and and this is about uh, two years ago and shit. I was like, look, man. He asked me about, like, Chicano raps being held down in the industry type shit. And I was just like, man, I just think the music wasn't up to, to you know what I mean? We, we was making music to, we were making music to to please uh, Mexicans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We was talking about Mexican shit, you feel yeah. me? Mexican gangbanging shit, you know what I'm saying, you know? And, you know, obviously that resonates with other, with other cultures as well, but we was... Definitely just digging into that, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 100%. So it's like, if you're doing something your whole career to target one audience, what do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Facts, These facts, ra- the radios and shit ain't gonna, they ain't gonna give a fuck about it, you know what I'm saying? These other people ain't gonna give a fuck about it, you know what I'm saying? They want global shit, bro. Hell, yeah. They want yeah. shit they can market across the fucking, you know what I mean, the world and shit, bro. You know what I mean? Nah, I hear it. So who, who let, let, let's hear your top, top three. Top three artists, and then we'll go top three Hispanic artists. Top three artists? Yeah. I say Kendrick Lamar. Yeah. <laughs> That's mine. Number J-Rod. one. Man, TDE you just really. You fuck with TDE like that? Yeah, we just yeah. had smack around, up on this motherfucker, yeah, too. TDE, yeah, TDE, yeah. TDE, bro. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. they always been the same. That's why. You feel me? Hell yeah. They want to the move program, the same. They don't too. switch it up. Yeah. yeah. They the same. You know what I mean? The, w- the way that the come up is just legendary with TDE, bro. This shit's just crazy. Yeah, crazy yeah, no, nah, it definitely is, man. I mean, schoolboy, you know what I'm saying, currency, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, that's the type of shit I be on, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Shit like that, you know, I really, you know, to be honest, I don't really listen too much rap, you know what I mean? Like, you ain't fucking with like none of the youngest coming out, like maybe like Peso, Money Peso, Shine, pay, me, 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 me and Peso been talking back and forth and shit, um, you know what I'm saying, he been out, he been up there, but you know, he got in contact with me and shit, and I, yeah. I fuck with him and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I met him a couple times. Yeah, I don't know true. how old you are, but I just feel like you you more like an OG, you know, because you're, you're not no, like, younger rapper, like, coming out, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro, I've been doing this shit over a decade. That's what I'm yeah. saying, like, you feel you know me? Like, everything that everything they've been through, I've been through twice. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. been through twice, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's why I'm, a, I'm at a I'm at a, at a spot in my, in my career and in my life where, I mean, i never really been too much for the internet shit, you feel me? Like, bro, I hate being on the internet. I hate yeah, being on yeah. Instagram and shit like that. You know, and, that's like half of your job right there. You yeah, know what man, that's they like be pushing. They be like, shit. man, you got to do this, you got to do that yeah. type shit. I'm like, man, just look. If if, if they fuck with it, it's gonna it's oh, gonna, yeah, it's be gonna there. naturally go. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Ain't yeah, nothing yeah. gonna talk talk to talk my bad. Ain't no, ain't nothing ain't nothing gonna talk better than the music. Hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Because you you see it, you see motherfuckers out there talking about whoop 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 and you know what I mean on the internet trying to get that audience by talking <laughs> shit. Mm-hmm. But then all you got to do is go check their numbers and you know it ain't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I know it like this. People are either going to tune into you for two reasons, because you got talent or because you're interesting. Right. Yeah. Right? Right. Being interesting can only last for so long. Yeah. Talent lasts a, a, a lifetime. Or you got to just keep that controversy up. You, 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 or you got to keep <laughs> yeah. talking that you, shit. You ever like feeling like you need to be in the controversy or is that just that's I pretty much myself. what you're saying right now, right? Yeah. I stop myself. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll be like, there's some rappers yeah. that are addicted to that, you know, yeah. but, but yeah, that's a, sure. it's just a great way to market yourself. At the end of the day, you can't hate nobody hustling. You can't hate on no man or how they right. got there. 
if they got there, they got there. You know what I'm saying? As long yeah. as they ain't break no code, like, and go against their morals, I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I mean, look, anybody that does that and, and use that as their platform to, like, you know what I'm saying? To troll. To, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to grow and shit, you feel me? Like, that's cool. Like, nothing they can do is going to hurt my money, hurt my hurt my situation. Yeah, so, I, I can never be mad at that. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. amusing, though. I'll be watching that. Hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. You like, know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that shit funny. Yeah, yeah, that shit funny. That shit cool. But what you, what you think about the whole like Blueface and Krishan shit? I don't even tell me about it. I don't know. You know, I don't that. even know. Like you know, they just like they just they just that you know, little fight outlandish. Shit. Yeah, just you know. You don't be watching they. they everything's a, little, everything with uh, them is like clickbait. They they always show. trying to go viral. They got a new show, Crazy, yeah, crazy in, in Love. You don't be tapped in with that. Nah, but what is it? What are they, they doing? They, like, just, they just be on toxic vibes, twenty four seven. Just like, like shut the fuck up, bitch type shit. You ain't never had no toxic relationship. You know what I'm talking about? You know, they just you know they just. Every day they waking up, you know, on camera, like just showing how the relationship is. Oh yeah, like is. some big brother shit, like back yeah, in the day, yeah, like you know, yeah. what I'm saying just camera set up. Yeah, face over there knocking out her daddy and oh, oh okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I seen that. He knocked him. He, he was punching on him and shit, like in front yeah, of some yeah. like some building, right? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. I seen that. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, that shit. That shit funny. You know what I'm saying? But now look, just with that is. is are we going to know Blueface from making music or Blueface from being But that's being what I'm saying. Or is he yeah. smart? Because, like, he's like, damn, this music shit, this shit going downhill. Like, what's the next way? You know, what's like the next Blueface way to go Blueface ain't never really been like a, like a, like a artist like that. You he hit me? Billboard, like, though. No, no, no. He got some shit. more shit than... But I'm saying, like, everybody knows Blueface, but shit he did. You feel me? Like, he right. did. He posted his dick on a... Album cover, they went no, crazy. You feel me? Like he he, did I don't that. even know that. I no, ain't never seen not. that. He, he <laughs> what are you yeah, talking about? Yeah, he. Uh, one of his song covers. I've never seen it a day in my life. Gorilla, we finna edit this. In. <laughs> if it's there, we gonna see. Nah, nah, he did that, bro. And that's <laughs> that's crazy. You feel Hell me? Yeah. Like people gonna talk about that. Everything like he do, like I feel like he does shit on purpose. You feel me? Like. He trolling. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you take six nine situation, that's how he started. Would you fucking with him before he read it? Like, would you was you watching that shit? Was you like laughing at that shit, or is it like some? Of you just some of his songs were, were hard, bro. That shit turned <laughs> shit up. Hell yeah. yeah. Like not I, even just just the beat selections and shit like that. Like he was going. Yeah. And yeah, he was yeah. talking that shit. You I know feel like mean? you can't hate on like I I can't hate on him. Like even before he before he was a rat, it's like come on, bro. You feel me? Like he just. Somebody trying to do the, what they do. You feel yeah, me? Before yeah, he, before he before he told, bro, I was like, it cool. It, it's it's like, goofy as hell, but the problem is that it, like, he gave someone, people a, re, a reason to hate him. Yeah, yeah you yeah, gave yeah. him the reason. To, I mean, uh, you know, saying something to say and shit. Yeah, if he never would have done that, he would have been straight. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, you yeah. hate on him. Why? Because he's hitting Billboard. Because he right. Because he motherfucker. Like if I'm hitting Billboard and I'm just trolling all day, like fuck it, so be it. Yeah, like, you feel me? Like if it work, it work. Yeah, you know what I mean? my mama, like what the fuck? Yeah. I mean, you can never hate on nobody like that, man, unless, you know what I'm saying? But when he did that dumb shit, that's different, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nah, yeah, they're But still, bro, that don't mean nothing to me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, hey, he ain't telling me, he not around, part of my look, people. Old boy walking around like, yeah, you can do whatever, bro. I ain't gonna come out here and try to hunt you down. Dude. Yeah, yeah, ain't nobody gonna I got, kill I got him. my own people. Yeah. I got, yeah. you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers that I don't like, gotta you know take care of your own shit yeah. before you yeah. worry oh, about somebody else's, yeah. That's the Treyway's trash, bro. They, they gotta go ahead and just, you know, take care of that. Like, yeah, that right. ain't my, my shit. Like, if six I see he's a millionaire now, though, you feel me? Like, he man, fuck all that on, money, they, though. They can't touch him. Like, he walking around yeah, with anybody get want. touched, though. A president died, man. Come on, you can't say he, if he, they really want money, him, don't know. mean nothing. The president yeah. gonna die. Like, you gotta really crash out because whoever do that, shit, they going down, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? And someone gonna end up doing it, though. Come on, man. I don't know, there's always a, <laughs> I don't know. The real ones be dying, man. It's 6'9", man. I feel like, man, Yeah, bro. I feel like the real ones be dying. Yeah, how the real show. ones die? We got 6'9". I look at it that way, and then I look at it like it's, it's nobody. because that's how life is, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers, you know, the real ones, fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like the real ones now, it's hard to determine who the real ones and who the fake ones are because it's so easy to be, the, you know what I mean, whoever you want to be online type yeah, shit. It, it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then It's easy to portray what you want. Yeah. You know what I mean? like, and then you see you see the fake ones. It's like even when it comes to the industry and shit, when it comes to talking this gangster shit, it's like 
You know what I mean? You got motherfuckers that, re- that really did that dirt that's out here talking about it and shit that ain't getting no recognition. Right. But you got the motherfuckers that are merely just talking about it ain't never lived it right. on top of the world and shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And it's just crazy, but just how it is, bro. It's just I, feel like it's the, I feel like in the industry, they've been cutting down on that a lot more, though, now. I feel like only the real ones last now, nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like on, I feel like everybody that's on top, like right now in the rap game, like Baby and Dirk and, uh-huh. and you know, Thugs and, and the YSL. And everybody they was really dealt that shit. That's the reason why even Twenty One Savage, everybody, you know, what right, I'm saying the right. top dogs. You know, I feel like you could get to a certain point faking it, but at, at a at, you never gonna be at the top top. You never right, gonna right. be like great a celebrity faking that shit. You gotta really, you know, what I'm saying. I think the real way to know is like if you got your real homies. I mean, they did last six nine in the door though. And then, yeah. <laughs> you feel me? So I guess that is. If you got your real ones with you and, you, and they with you. Throughout the way, like I'm talking about certified gangbangers and shit, like motherfuckers are really from your hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like muff, you know, like everybody you see in my video and shit like that. On all my videos, you are yeah. gonna see the same faces. You know why? Yeah. Because those are the, those are the homies from the hood and yeah, shit. You right. Know what I'm that's saying? how you make a name for yourself for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they gonna just know where you at from the videos. You ain't gotta say too much. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's because you know what I'm saying when it th- when it comes to business and and, uh, and the street shit. You definitely have to you you definitely have to uh, separate those things. Right. Yeah. But by separating them doesn't mean you have to leave anybody behind. No, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? But you can't do business with all the homies. You know, just like me being young, just like coming up in this shit too. I'm like, I realize that. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Your homies ain't Certain the ones homies. that's gonna be doing the business with you. You feel me? Like, not all of them. You know, yeah. you gonna grab the couple that you like, but like, man, everybody can't go. You feel me? Like, and it's just yeah. See, for me, it's like. Look, my homies like to have a good time, you know what I'm saying? And, they, and you know what I mean? They, they really outside in them streets today, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they out yeah. there. So, for me, you know what I'm saying? When they want to hang out with me and shit like that, and, you know, when I kick it with them, I, I come and I show them something different. I'm like, look, come over here. We got these hoes over here. We got, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Pull up oh, to the functions. Just, yeah, that's like, part of being a boss, though. You got to yeah, take care yeah, of all situations. Yeah, like, you know, like, you know what I mean? Come over here and do this and shit, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I understand you got your duties in the neighborhood, and I'm never going to tell you not to do that, you know what I'm saying, because yeah. I did it, you know what I'm saying, my brothers did it, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I come from generation to generation of, of, of gangbangers and shit, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, I'm never going to tell them not to do that due diligence in the neighborhood, yeah. but... When they with me, they know it's, you know what I'm saying? We going to have a good you experience a different. <laughs> yeah, you experience a little something different and shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Do you feel you like do. you stray away from that, like the gang culture and just like the that, that mentality? Or do you feel like you still in that bitch 100%? 100%. Well, I got my hood tatted on my face and you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, like, is you like yeah, for sure. You always going to, that's, that's you right. forever. I'm not, uh-huh. I'm not saying that. I'm more saying like, is it like. You not, you not like. I'm not in the streets gang banging. Yeah, no, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. I ain't in the streets gang banging. You know what I'm saying. Uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, I feel like gang banging that. and being from yeah. your gang is two different things. Yeah. Because you know what I'm saying. When I was gang banging in the streets, I was actively looking around for the enemies. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't be able to walk into a liquor store. And see somebody tatted up and not ask him where he's from. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Does that mentality change once you get a little bit of money? It, it does. Not only when you get some money, man, it's just when you get older and shit and, 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 and you facts, value facts. the shit around you. No, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's because ain't nobody, nobody could tell me, bro, like, believe me, if I, if I was, if, if I didn't go through the steps that I had to go through to, to yeah. get my respect in the neighborhood, I wouldn't have it. Yeah. Nobody in the neighborhood gives a fuck that I'm a rapper. Yeah. They like the fact I'm a rapper and it's dope, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if I wasn't really, if I really didn't do my shit when I was younger, Not you know what I'm saying? Nobody gives a fuck, yeah. bro. It'll be like that It'll whole Soldier like, Boy shit. Remember that when shit. Soldier Boy came over here and yeah. he was talking about like, Man, <laughs> yeah. He Nobody put his cares. arm around that dude. He like, get the fuck up yeah. You see that hey, shit? Hey, real <laughs> gangbangers, they don't give a fuck about none of that, bro. Yeah. Yeah, mama, you gotta bro. represent the shit right. Fact. Yeah, mm-hmm. their reality is is... What they living right now. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? For my mama, you never yeah. be in the hood. Like, I don't never see you. Yeah, oh, God. Not the homie. Like. And I, you know what I'm saying? I, you know what I mean? I'd be the same way. If I was, you know what I'm saying? If I was in the hood every day risking my life and shit, and I had this motherfucker over here claiming the hood and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd be like, bro, what the fuck are you, bro? You ain't yeah, out yeah. here in the streets. No, you ain't straight. risking life or death. You know what I'm saying? You ain't risking going to jail for the rest of your life. Why do you get to claim the fame that we... Exactly. That yep. we doing right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Type shit. What about like uh you ever have to go through with like with, with your homies, certain homies hating on you, like like why you rapping, why you doing this shit? Like at the beginning something? I did, yeah. How'd you get through that? 
Squabble up. <laughs> That's how you do that shit. Yeah, Squabble up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a certain respect that, you know what I'm saying? I love all my homies and shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? My homies know who they are, and there's some homies that that did switch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, there, and, and you know what I'm saying? And that love was lost because of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Man, that respect has to be earned, bro. You know what I mean? And if somebody's saying, like, Oh man, you over there rapping and this shit is because they don't got respect for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they don't got respect for you. And and you know what I'm saying? I'm not the type to to go to the neighborhood and be like, yo, this is what I did and this is why you whoop whoop whoop. Like, man, we could just get them up. No, you feel you know like what I'm that shit waters you down a little or not waters you down, but it makes other people feel like it waters you down a little bit or you're a rapper, shit like that. You feel it, me? it it, it could be it could be depending like wh- who it is and what the situation is. Like I said, I keep my my homies real close to me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um, they could depend on me just like I could depend on them. Yeah. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Anybody that got love for you though should be open minded about anything. You right. Right. Do, you know, yeah. You know. And she yeah. Go down but sometimes that path it's not about you. that. Sometimes it's about jealousy. That's what I'm saying. Like so that, that it, it can't me? be real love. If it's yeah, jealousy. Hell though. not. It, yeah, right. You got. You got. Every hood got. I lost look. a lot of homies over just having success. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You, yeah. You get a little money, you gonna see who gonna really rock with you, my boy. Like, yeah, facts. Not everybody really, really want to see you win. Some people want to see you be complacent in the same situation, and yeah. that's why I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Not a lot of people like to be around people that are better than at, than them at something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Shit, you just gotta weed that shit out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because there's definitely some people like that as well and shit. Every every hood's gonna have the, the you know what I'm saying yeah. the ones that really fuck with you, the ones that love you. I've been I've been uh. I've been fortunate to, you know what I'm saying, being raised around some real, you know what I mean, solid individuals and shit, you know what I'm saying, uh, my older homies, um, they wanted the best for me, bro, you know what yeah, I'm saying, that's tight. Yeah, you yeah. know, and that that was a big, it was a big thing, I had a lot of support from my older homies and shit, you know what I'm saying, because I was born in my neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, I yeah. was born in Pomona, I was born in the heart of my neighborhood, so, so those older homies see me running around in diapers and shit, yeah. you know what I mean, they, yeah. seen, they seen my older brother's go to jail and, you know what I'm saying, and, and put in work and shit like that. And naturally, you know, I followed those steps. So those same older homies, instead of looking at me like, oh, he just a homie and shit, he got to do this and got to do that, they're like, bro, you you have something with this rap shit, you know what I'm saying? 100%. So you need to pursue that, you know what I mean? No, that's for free. Like, fuck what everybody's talking about. You need to pursue yeah. this shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But it takes a real motherfucker to tell you that. And it, take, and it takes a motherfucker that don't give a fuck about you to say, Oh, you don't need to be doing that. You need to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need to be going. You need to have a, a gun in your hand, and you need to be over here fucking, you know, shooting these cats like me and shit type shit. Yeah, That's facts. somebody that ain't really got the yeah. best, the best, uh, you know, uh, shit. The word ain't coming to me, but, you know, he, he don't really care intentions. about what happens intentions. to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The best intention for you. He wants you in that same boat. You know what I mean? Damn, ring her on and everything, huh? You know who it is. <laughs> but don't get me wrong, though. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong, though, man, because I was exactly the same way. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. I was exactly it's, the same way. I feel way. like it's not that they got the 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 wrong intentions for you. Some people just don't know any different. You feel right, me? Right, right. Some people only know one way. Like, this is how I was raised. This is how I learned <coughs> shit. This, this is all I know. You feel me? Let, yeah. Let's go right. do this. You from over here? Let's go. You feel me? But, right. Hell yeah. But that's all they know. But that's, that's, that's why it's our job to... Teach them different. Like, look, yeah. bro, it's what we could be doing. You feel me? It's what we should be doing. Yeah. Let's go. You feel me? Hell yeah. Type shit. Yeah, man. Like, with the little homies, I got my my, my homie, uh, Henny909 right now and shit. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the TGs, and uh, he start, he's starting to rap, too. You know what I'm That's saying? Tight. He got a gang of songs and shit. So I'm like, bring it to me, bro. I'll put everything out under my distribution. You know what I'm saying? I'll throw everything on my YouTube channel. I'm going to push you like I push myself and shit. Hell yeah. I mean... And that and that comes with no strings attached and shit. That's because yeah. I love my neighborhood and That's I love exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. How it it's, should be? We talking about generations and generations and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, you know what I mean? I, I started with one generation. They they went to jail for life. You know what I'm saying? Cause, Cause some still around, some ain't. I went to the next generation. Like, what's up, bro? You know what I'm saying? They younger than me. I'm like, yo, let's be what's cracking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we gonna have to go do this. I'm with you. Yeah. If we yeah. doing that, I'm with you. Yeah. If I need them, yo, what's up, bro? They'll come in a heartbeat and shit. Yeah, that's a fact. That's, that's, that's the how difference. you be with your little homies, too. Just watching that sure. shit. He always, you yeah. know, trying to put the little homies on, trying to bring them into a situation or just, you know. It, that's our job. Have fun. That's you what we're supposed to do. You know, yeah. doing no dumb shit, even though they already 
goddamn doing that shit. You they feel me? Sure <laughs> doing that. There's but, nothing we could do. Yeah. I mean, keep doing what you're doing, but you feel me? We gotta show them that there's something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mandatory. But yeah, right. coming out of Pomona, man, like. Hold on, talk. Real quick, bro. It's, it's Pomona, LA. Well, we mean the homie was having a debate about it's this. It's the 909 like, in it, LA. Wait, wait, what is it? What, what? It's, it's LA County. Ca- it's the last city of LA County. But is, is you, is it, are you repping LA or is it? Is, yeah, I rep. It's I, LA County. So the way it is, is like you got some you got some homies like uh, even from my, my neighborhood, uh, some homies that, that, that rep SGV. So when they in prison, you know what I'm saying, you, you rode the SGV car. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you got some homies that just rep LA County. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of those LA County boys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why I rep the LA hats and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll hit it up, be like LA County on my shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. So it's it's like it's it's SGV and it's the last city of LA County. You know what I'm and saying? And it's the 909. Yeah, and it's the 909. It's like, That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. Y'all the only ones though, huh? Right to have like the 909 and be part of LA County, right? Yeah, because right after us is Claremont and shit, then you re- then you touch in the IE. Right be- right below us is Ontario. You you just you already touching IE. I think right that now. was really the main question I had, so it's definitely not the IE. Nah, Pomona ain't. Yeah, no hate really. to the IE though cuz I got I got partners from from all over the sp- yeah. place, yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah. I I've had I, they've been asking that question before. Even in my comments they'll be like uh, Best rapper out the IE, and, right, and right. I wouldn't say nothing because I really don't care. You well, know what I'm saying? All that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm with it. You know what I'm saying? Why not, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And, but um, you'll see the comments go up like, oh, he, oh, he ain't from the yeah, IE. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's and then the people yeah. that don't like IE is in the comments fighting with the people that from yeah. IE that don't yeah. like. That's how it be, man. They be you know going up in the comments. <laughs> but it's 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 cool though, man. I mean, like I don't really trip on that type of shit. I just you know what I'm saying I, you know I laugh about it and shit yeah. and. There's no way I can hate on it because, you know what I'm saying, that's, the homies are from IE and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I got real solid, real, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Real real generals out there and shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, what, what am I going to say? You feel me? Like, it's, it's all love and shit. But it's definitely L.A. County, so I don't know yeah. who had that debate going. Hell yeah. yeah. Nah, it was I, y'all I, I think we were just bringing it up. <laughs> nah, we just were yeah. talking about it like... We're like Pomona's LA County. Nah, though, right? I, I've been to LA County jail, you feel me? So I know I seen a gang of motherfuckers from yes. Pomona in there. You so yeah, yeah, so put it this way. When, when I get when I got busted and we, yeah. if you get busted in Pomona, yep. go to you LA. ain't going to West but, Valley. No. Yeah, you're, going you're going to, to you're going LA to LA County. County. Yep. So I best I, I that's probably the easiest way to define it, right? Yep. Right. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? To separate that, you know what I mean? The I E from, right. from but, LA so, County. So how how was it coming out of Pomona? You feel me for an artist? I know there's, uh, fucking, um, damn, that's crazy. I'm for, yeah, uh, I forget. Sugar Free. Sugar you Free, Cocaine, Above the Law, yeah. Come on, you feel Sugar me? You got artists. legends out of Pomona. I done tapped in with all them, man. Yeah. Yeah. Sugar Free, Show Number Sugar Love, Free Cocaine, Show Number Love. You got, uh, you got any songs with any of them? Uh, me and Cocaine have a song. Me and, uh, me and, uh. Uh, Code 187 from Above the Law. Me, okay. We got some songs. We just ain't never put them out. We've been at them. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Sugar Free, they all they all have tapped in and, and, yeah. and, and show show they love, bro. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, you know, mm-hmm. whether it be uh, on Instagram, whether it be fucking you meet up with them at the studio, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying, you, you cross paths and shit. I remember Sugar Free, the first time, the first time I ever talked to him, I was performing in Long Beach, and he was performing as well. And then uh, as soon as I got off stage, I think it was like his manager or something was like, "Hey man, Sugar Free want to talk to you in his uh, in his uh, uh, in his trailer." And I went up there and he was, you know, he just showed that love and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's tight. Because Pomona, bro, like, there's a lot of beef in Pomona, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Every every you know what I'm saying every every different block is a neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's kind of like you know like pretty much like a mini version of LA because there's so many gangs cra- cramped into this city. Yeah. You know what I mean? So all you got to do is drive to the next liquor store. You already run into enemies and shit. You know what I mean? But being like that, when you have somebody that's really front promoter and really and really representing and rapping it and showing it the right way and shit, it's all motherfuckers love. love because, bro, I have yeah, yeah. I have some of, I have so mortal enemies, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That show love on comments and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is was just kind of tripped out the first few times it would happen. But, you know what I'm saying? They're like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Hey, much love to drummer and shit. Whoop, whoop. And they bang their set in the comments and shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's like, okay, you you definitely from the other side, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But it it's about Pomona as as, exactly. as you know what I'm saying? Right. But see, I wouldn't make music with the other side. Yeah, there's too much history there. Yeah, I can't do that. 
That's how I see it, man. Like, anybody coming out of my city, I'd be like, props to them. You feel me? Like, no matter what, because you put it on for the city. You put it on the map. You feel me? So right. if, if anybody, you know what I mean? Shit, I don't care where they from. You feel me? Salute. Shit. Yeah. Keep doing your shit. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. That's how it's So I think that's how, that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of like that and shit. You know what I mean? But I mean... Pomona, Pomona been, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers know Pomona, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. They definitely do, you know what I'm saying? I can't take no full credit for nothing. I just, I just, I just got that light and shined it back on it for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, you know fish. what I'm saying? I just did my part, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's. But Pomona's Pomona without me, with me, you don't matter, you know what I'm saying? That's the city of no pity right there, you know? Yeah. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, man, I see a lot of other artists coming out of Pomona as well and shit, you know what I mean? Uh, and, and some artists that claim the city but really ain't from it type shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, but even that, bro, like, I don't indulge. About? Who you talking about? I mean, you, you can't make me put don't that Don't break it up. Don't break it up. You're not going to say it. I'll tell you 100% this much. When they see this, they going to know exactly yeah, what, yeah. what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I know I know this question ain't got nothing to do with you, but I just want to ask. You from Pomona, you feel me? So, like, how you feel about all the... The, the new pimp culture and all that that's coming out, you feel me? I know Pomona's like psh, one of them cities. You, I mean, I grew free. up around 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 pimps and prostitutes, bro. Yeah, the, I, I, I was born. Look, I, my name my neighborhood is right there off of Hope. Hope that that's the blade yeah, right that's there. It. Yeah, that's right the motherfucking there. blade right there in Pomona. Like like you know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. Right you there. know what I'm saying? So it's like you know that. yeah. So I'm like man, you know what I mean? It ain't no new pimp shit. Cause this pimp shit been been around, but you, which you, how how do you guys do? Like, it's a like whole that, new but generation. It's not. It's even, a whole new generation. Whole call game, it call it that. Whole game one eighty. It's yeah. like it's not even the same no more, man. Pimps not out here in suits. They're not out here in the fur coats. They out here in the mirror jeans and you yeah. feel me? Like it's just a new. It's just everybody. Anybody could be a, a pimp nowadays. You feel me? Like yeah. Like, but but can break a bitch nowadays. It's like the, the internet got shit. I right. mean, breaking a bitch is easy, man. You've been making money off of bitches, you know what I'm saying? Like, you with the, without the label pimp. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. that's that's super easy. Well, you know what I mean? <coughs> you get a bitch, <coughs> you tell her, I need this, I need that, pay Come up. Come on, twin. So, so, so is the is a pimping culture embraced where you from? Well, it's, it's Pomona. Yeah, that's yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's Pomona, so, you know what I'm saying? I, I know, I know. You know what I mean? Shout out to the, to uh, Northside Island Pyrus over there. You know what I'm saying? Those are yeah. our partners and shit. That's like the only people we really cool with in Pomona. Uh, you know what I mean? A lot of a lot of them was doing it, bro. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And they didn't dress in the suits, bro. They was game banged out. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what fact. I'm saying? They was game banged out, and we talking about ten plus years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And I would look at them because I was not on that tip. You know what I mean? I was I was on something else. You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know too many Mexicans that are pimps. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, back a then. Lot. That's a lot. But man. back then, though. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? No. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? The homies used to do it and shit like that. And they'd be like, oh, you want to you wanna fuck her and shit? I'd be like, yeah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, that. <laughs> you that, that. I ain't paying you shit either, stupid. <laughs> 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 you know, trap it out yeah. the homies. So, it was like that. So, I, that's why I said it ain't really new, but what they making it is trendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? It's trendy you now. You know who Lil Kelpie is? I seen him. I seen him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I seen him get what, socked what you, up. What you think about, bro? You seen it? I like, bro. Yeah. That's why I you said like, I like him too. Yeah. That's why I said I like, you like him too. too? Shit. Like, I like. Nah, I just, I just look. Like, he just doing. He's just going up there. He's doing what he's doing. Yeah, How are we gonna yeah, hate yeah. on him? He's yeah. trying to win. He's right. his trying biggest advocate. I swear to God. Uh, yeah, I fuck with him. You know what I don't fuck with was that old boy taking off on him. That shit weak. He called him a yeah. bitch, though. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. What? If you call me a... Yeah. I, anybody call right, me right. a bitch, I'm taking off but on right, you. you know cameras is on. Yeah, but right. not... Yeah, but I'll be like, you, all right. Exactly, we, you know cameras yeah. is on you. Why you calling him a bitch? Yeah, you right. I right? mean, no, but he, he, he clearly started that. He did. Yeah. He, he, he started that. All to, he wanted right. that to happen. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what I feel like. You know what I mean? And come on. He don't get no points for beating up Kelpie, bro. Nah. He... I'm a I mean, wolf. I ain't got to. I, I ain't got to show the sheep that I yeah. that I'm that I'm bigger than. That's you, a fact. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. I ain't got to show them. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? So we, you telling me like you ain't letting bro call you? A, you know, no. Like you gonna take off on him too? Look, if I, I was like, in that altercation, if I was in that altercation, you gonna say, I, oh, he, oh, he don't get no points, but you would have nah. took off on him. Oh God, I would. He would. Yeah, you would. I would. I would. I would have too. But here's my thing: it's the demeanor, right? You know, old boy soft. 
So you ain't got to be like, man, fuck you, nah, bro. I'm all, you, 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 ain't, you, you, ain't yeah. you already coming at him a certain type of way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're already pulling that out. Flexing, flexing. A motherfucker like Kelpie can't move me like that. We just sat down with him. We didn't come at him no type of aggressive. You feel me? It's just a normal conversation. So I get what you're saying. Almighty coming in there like. A little square dude ain't going to move me like that. My temperature ain't going to rock. Exactly. I'm going to just be like cooling, like, all right, bro. Like, you're a pin. That's what's up, bro. Like, pass one of them little things you got there. Let me see what they're here for. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. I can't be hating on bro. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's funny and shit, but it's you know what I mean. If Cappy watching this shoot went over, man, we got parties and shit. You gonna invite that? <laughs> you know, bring him nah, over we here for show sure tap in with Cappy, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. <laughs> oh yeah, my, <laughs> hey, no, 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 cat, my boy. What you think about my boy? Sharp? My my boy Manos has a little problem with Sharp too. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? And I stand behind, my, I stand behind my boys and shit. You feel yeah, me? That's what. That's what I said. He shouldn't be talking about shit he don't know about. You feel me? I feel yeah. like everybody in this room got a problem with Sharp. Man, Dang. Sharp just... And I know he, he got a little situation. What happened with y'all? You don't break it down or is it just... Oh, with me? Yeah. Oh, no. You, oh, situation. hey. Any one of my partners has a problem with somebody, mm-hmm. I got a problem with somebody. And, and, my, and my whole team and my and, and everybody that stand behind me got a problem with it too and shit. That and y'all, and you know what I'm saying? All that shit they talking, that's sweet and shit. It's cool. And you, you might have some gangsters with you, but so do I. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> so do I type shit. You feel me? And that's it. You feel me? So I, me personally, I don't. You know what I mean? I, as soon as as soon as my boy Manos told me what's up, I was like, well, yeah, fuck that dude, bro. I don't give a fuck about him. Yeah. My mama. This my brother, bro. We chilling. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We we, oh, we yeah. doing everything together. I'm taking my bro, so I don't care who. It is. Yeah. You feel me? Like, he could be wrong. I yeah. mean, it if Manos wrong. is wrong, fuck yeah. it. We yeah. wrong together, huh, fool? That's it. That's right. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. that's just what I feel about that and shit. Yeah, you he requested milk. Come on, and why you want me about the milk, man? <laughs> <laughs> Is milk just like a good luck charm? Like, <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, nah. He knows. He knows I be needing milk and shit. But yeah, what's the milk for? I, I still ain't got an answer, bro. Like. I just want to know. We they gonna put milk emojis in the comments. I hope you know that, bro. Feel, to run that shit up with milk emojis <laughs> all day. We need all the milk you know emojis in there. Bitch. Oh God. Hell yeah. But yeah, man. Today, today's generation of music. You know what I'm saying? It's it's different than it was when I was coming up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like the music is 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 adapting. You know and. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I think it's important for artists like me and people that been around to keep it, keep it, keep that, you know what I'm saying? That shit that started it alive. You feel me? Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it, especially for Mexicans, it, w- it wasn't really easy to capture a, 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 a big fan base. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it's it, it's been it, it's been rough. It had its up and ups and downs and shit, but you know what I mean? A motherfucker like me, I tap in with everybody, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, I represent that Mexican flag to the fullest and shit. But, you know what I'm saying? I I, I, rock, I rock with everybody, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Me, Draco had a song, Rest in Peace. I fuck with, you know, Ruchi. Yeah. Fuck with, you know, Phoenix, Stupid Young, bro. Like, I, I went out there and showed them, like, this is what you do with the music, man. This, this is how you hit that shit. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like the rap game right now is it's a lot of... Fighting amongst each other. You feel like it's a lot of politics just coming from the West Coast, like you just wrapped up in politics, like from the gate. It really, it really ain't like super politic type of shit. It's just a lot of motherfuckers don't want to work with each other for just like just way out, like yeah, like why, why, why not type shit. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you know what I mean? I feel like Roddy Rich did it the best. You feel me? Like, right? He just came from the streets, but he just you know. Right, like surpassed, like just being young too, like uh-huh. you know, like just got all the way to the to the top. Yeah, he did, saying? he did. He played. He he made, he made like that move right. Sign, you feel and me? It, and it's people behind him that helps him make that move right. Because right. a lot of rappers you see, like they just can't get out that like you know that hood mentality. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, and it, it's gonna box you at the end of the day. Like Draco, like he really was the only one that could push through that door. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I really. <coughs> yeah. So it's like you know. Like, <coughs> yep. what the Drake feature, you I remember when I, when I when I when we we were in the studio. That's when he was like. That's when he first got the well. When like the the Drake feature actually like after he got out of jail. So that's what he was talking about when we was in the studio together and shit. He was talking about that. He's like, oh, price going up. Yeah. 
Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Bro, like if I if you got a Drake feature, you going you gonna break the air. I'm gonna say it every day. Like I got the Drake feature, bro. I don't yeah. hear nothing. You feel me? Oh god. I didn't I damn near hear that line in this song like probably like six times. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like you don't wreck yeah, that yeah. bitch for sure. Nah, milk the fuck out of it, man, yeah, for what yeah, it is and you, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Come on now. That's yeah, crazy man. Shit. Hey, but the scene out here in the OC, this the rap scene been been strong as well, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it's been going up like a motherfucker. We definitely running that bitch over here, though. Yeah, that's for sure. For sure, like, this shit. So we got a whole label, you know, signed all this and everything. Like, we going up right now, Empire. Oh, you, yeah. you, you working with Empire? Yeah, I was I was on the label side with Empire for a minute. I did, like, two albums with Empire and shit. You know Hell what I'm yeah. saying? And then... Are uh, you, are you uh, independent right now? Yeah, so, well, I'm independent, but I, I just signed a distribution deal with them probably like a year or two ago and shit. So instead of being on the labels, you know what I'm saying, instead of working my albums like they were, I just took straight distribution. Hell yeah. And that just, you know what I mean, that was just all about, you know what I mean, uh, good decisions and shit, you know right. what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Cause not, I mean, good decisions that, for me, right. you know what I mean? I got, I got a best friend, I'm talking about like, I went to high school with him. I was his first fan and everything. His name Kill Switch. Okay. We we started off from like the ground up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He got his first deal, uh, Empire. I think it was for thirty thousand. Right. He took that right. Boom. That shit put him <coughs> in like the best place he could have ever been in. You know what I'm saying? Like just with like the playlisting on Spotify. Right. And right. I'm, talk I'm talking about Bro Pie right now. Got seven million. Like monthly listeners, no cap. Like yeah, yeah. Going up like crazy. So I know Empire. Like That's because he got it. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, it don't matter what a label does. Yeah, like, but, but you gotta, you, got, you you just, gotta have it. Sometimes you need that label push. Like, yeah, you do. Yeah. Boom, we can put you on these playlists. We can get you put. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's different shit that labels do now. See, I've been, you know what I'm saying, being You just can't go and just right. pull off, off the strength of just wanting to do it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have like a. Like the, a whole, yeah, so the, 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 the big difference between a major label and. And independent artists like myself and like you know a lot of other people, because I done tried I done tried both man I just released this ob this album with Orchard Music, yeah, yeah. me against them that's Orchard Music right there Mo music yeah. group that's you know what I mean right, yeah. Bad yeah. Bunnies on Orchard nah, yeah. you yeah. know what I'm saying like yeah, yeah. so I know you know what I'm saying I know about the label shit I've been in there been done it and shit you know what I'm saying um, the main thing the difference is the relationship that that the labels have with with. They have their relationships with YouTube. They have their relationships with Spotify. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's a difference between, um, you know, say Young Drummer Boy submitting ads to YouTube. Exactly. Submitting yeah. ads Orchard to Spotify. Or Orchard <laughs> Music submitting yeah. those ads. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because this Orchard is a priority. Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. Just picture it like they good homies with fucking Orchard. That's what it is. Hell and yeah. drummer's just a, just just a dude that they met that's trying to get a hook up on the plug, right. you know yeah. what I'm saying? And they're like, okay, but Orchard comes first because these are the homies. That's right. a so it's like, you know what I'm saying? If you look at it that way, that's basically what it's what it is and shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's yeah. like that. But the music got to carry. The yeah. music does the yeah. rest. Good dope got to sell, man. You yeah. Make sure that shit. You yeah. Know, right. Still sound good. I get what you're saying too. You yeah. Know. Most definitely. Most definitely. You know what I'm saying? But Empire's dope, bro. Like yeah. I did that. I signed with them for two albums on the label I was side. The yeah, with you, you was talking yeah. About that. And then after that, I just felt me and my lawyer and shit. We felt it was the best decision for me to um, just go ahead and just get a distribution deal with them. And with that, that allows me to sign artists, and that allows me to, to whatever I put out goes through their distribution shit. But I have I have a few different distribution distributors right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh. So yes, I got sir. different, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I fuck with Orchard here, fuck with Empire there, I fuck with TuneCore there, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Duet, Duetti is a new, that's a new one that we fucking with right now, you know what I mean? That's coming up, so I'm like, okay, let's see what it does. Hell yeah. Because I ain't got to, you know what I'm saying? It's, thank God I got them options, bro, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Hell yeah. You know, if I, if I got an album, I, I can say, okay, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what's the best fit and shit. Instead of having to go this one route, and, uh, you know what I'm saying, and then just kind of seeing where it goes from there and shit, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. So you on tour right now, right? We started tour um, March 10th. March 10th. So March 10th is the, is the first day. I think it's already sold out over there in Arizona. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, so um, tour life the best life, huh? So, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. We, hell man, we yeah. went on tour, bro. That shit was the best, worst, yeah, like, was, experience I'd ever it's, know, it's both. It's, it's both, both yeah. at the same time. Yeah. That like, shit's stressful. This is like Especially my, when this you go on it, like, it's, when it's a long run, too. Like, how long your tour? 
Man, we already in the May. We already in the May right now. Damn. Yeah. Going to April and shit. You know, Obviously, you going back home too, huh? Yeah. Or you staying? Yeah. We What's going back home. So, so right. So we uh, it, it just depends. Like, right. In we got two shows back to back in Denver. That's the 16th and the 17th, right? Are you staying out in Denver? Oh no, New Mexico, New Mexico. Two days back to back. So we staying out there for the for a couple of days and right. shit. You know what I mean? Then we'll try to come back. Mm-hmm. Then. You know, we hit an Oxnard, then we're going to go hit Denver. So. And this your, this your tour? Yeah, yeah, this is my tour. Yeah, Me and my who, team's tour and shit. The openers and shit? Oh, yeah, the openers is from every city, there's openers. But who I'm bringing along is my yeah, artist, Charlie Stone. Openers? Yeah, Charlie Stone's coming, and then uh, we, we signing Cartel Baby, so we, we put Cartel Baby on there as well and shit. Yeah. Where, you where do you think going to be the most latest city? Based on, you on your past tours, Arizona already sold out. Oh, yeah, because I think Arizona yeah, we did Arizona. Arizona, yeah, Arizona was crazy. Arizona just, Arizona I feel like crazy. they always go up show wise. Like they just, yeah. if you got fans there, they gonna go up for you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Arizona got that that, that vibe. Crazy. What I'm looking forward to right now is, um, I'm looking forward to go back to Denver because I was just in Denver when we were like a couple months ago, and and they did some shit where they kicked all the they kicked all the like people that were underage out like oh, yeah, before yeah, twelve before yeah. I got on stage. Damn. Yeah. They kicked That's them crazy. all out, bro. And we talking about like almost half the crowd. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And you know what I mean? I, we, we still had, you know, it still was a packed house, but you just, all them people that were in, it was just yeah. bad timing. Yeah, like, you know, I was yeah. there. They didn't, you know, the openers were taking too long and shit like that. And um, by the time I got on stage, it was like 1220 and the owner had kicked all the people that were underage out. So yeah. they was all outside. They had to listen to the show from the outside, bro. Buy tickets and all that shit. So I'm looking forward to Denver because now we got all ages. And now they can't fuck with us. We're going to be at the Roxy out there. Sure. Yeah, so now it's like, now, That's right. now I'm going to put on, a, I'm going to go harder because I know y'all, fuck, you know, y'all, mm-hmm. y'all missed out. But um, I'm looking forward to Oregon, bro. Oregon be going up. Hell yeah. You know Have saying? you ever performed up north? Northern? The farthest I went, the farthest I went up north was, uh, I did a show with, uh, with E40 up there, um, it was I think it was Fresno. 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 How was that? Um, it was cool, bro. But <laughs> that's the first time I had to go on stage with a bulletproof vest and a forty-five <laughs> on my hip. You know what I'm saying? Where they barking it was an at you? Outdoor show. Where they barking oh, at you? Show too? you know they was barking. <laughs> you know that, huh? You know yeah, that. Yeah, they was right there. Shit. I just had to come Bark at it different. You know what I'm saying? Because look, I got fans in Sacramento. I got fans in San Francisco. We got fans up north. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? yeah. We definitely do. Yeah. And then, and but but also we got, you know what I'm saying, be being being who I am and where I'm from, we definitely got a lot of homies up there as well and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the blue. Yeah. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> it's a fine line. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I gotta stay true to myself at the same time, you know, when you go up to these places, you don't wanna be like, Yeah, yeah. you know who the fuck I am, you know, yeah, you know where I'm yeah. from yeah. and shit. You, you gotta, gotta come you respectful, yeah. Come a little humble and come respect, yeah. bro. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Even though I'm coming humble in a respectful type of way, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, because I do got a fucking 4-5 on my <laughs> yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and yeah. you better aim for the head, because I had a hefty duty, bro. Yeah. I couldn't move on stage. I could barely move on stage. Uh, are you are you willing to work with a, a North, a homie from up North? Um, I don't, I don't, you know, to, to be honest, man, I can't really answer that question. You know what I'm saying? Politically correct, you know what I'm saying? Just because, um, you know what the homies been through when it yeah. came to that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. You know, I got I got homies from not from my neighborhood that, um, you know, was up there and had a fight every single day. As soon as they, you know, they, they had to walk out that cell yeah, every single day and get down because they were in a certain part in a certain prison. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, you know, that blood, that blood feud has been there for a long time and shit. You know what I mean? It's a fresh. But, um... You know, I'm not going to come out saying, like, I don't fuck with them or, like, you know, woo, 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 because, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, bro, I'm I'm always about my, you know what I'm saying, what's going on here, because yeah. what's going on there don't matter, bro. It's it's always about what's coming on here and shit, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah. you know, as far as working with them and shit like that, man, you, you know, see, there might be a certain channel that might happen and it might just not, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. yeah it's all about the channels, life, yeah, yeah. yeah you At know the same saying? time, though. Like playing devil advocate type shit, you feel me? You know, it's a whole different time now, you feel me? So, like, upstate, the homies is chilling with with, with northerners. You know right, I mean? right. Sharing with them, whatever, playing. Peanut yeah, I heard that. that yeah, shit, yeah, 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 I know that too. That's for sure, you know what I mean? But you just, you like, nah. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not even like about now. Nah, it's 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 more like you know what I'm saying if the proper channels are made the way you know and, and you know what I'm saying it, it's it, it, it's all gotta be right. Yeah, yeah. if it's, it's if it's done the right way and shit, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You got and, every, and everything on makes that. sense. Time and place for everything though. If yeah, it, and if it ain't right, it ain't right. You know I feel like I feel like you you not you not turning I, it down for show, like, but you not yeah. you not out here looking for it either. You yeah, you know what I'm saying. I feel like right now is like that time where. It's going to happen. You feel me? Right. Like, somebody's going to do it. You feel me? Somebody's going to do it, and it's going to be a power move. You feel me? I feel like yeah. that. that's going to be a a, yeah. a a good thing to see. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, it, you know, you have people talking about it a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? Lately, and, like, maybe, yeah, it's you know, it's been people have been talking about that and shit. You feel me? But, see, like, I have worked with artists from up there that weren't Northerners, and they and they... And they, you know, what I'm saying they, they, you obviously that, you know, like motherfuckers out here, they were in Northerners, but they, I mean, Southerners, but they grew up around Southsiders and shit like that. Yeah. And you know, I can, if I name this person, you gonna know who it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's like this: I did a song with him. You know, what I'm saying they sent it down and all that shit. And when he found out I was a Southerner, he couldn't make that play for the music video. Oh and man. Shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. And if you know what I'm saying, this month everybody knows who this person is. If I yeah. say it, you gonna know it. Right, but yeah, I ain't gonna right. put him on blast because I didn't take that disrespectfully. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I actually respected that. It's just yeah. your politics is what yeah, it is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, so you know, it's just kind of like oh, you know, regardless of what's going on, like everything has to be. The decision has to be mine, and it has to be yeah. a respectable decision, and it has to be you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, it's just kind of, yeah. it's just kind of how it is, man. Hey, you know? uh. No cap for when, when we was on tour, when we was in, in where was that, Oakland? We was in Oakland. I know they exactly was, why I just know the story you about to tell. They was telling us, we like, was in Oakland. We was in the they, they told us they shut down uh, King Lil G's show right there because right. of politics type yeah. shit. You feel me? It was in the trenches, though. I ain't right. Care. Yeah. Oakland, That's hey, how easy it I is. Gonna lie, I ain't yeah. never been to Oakland I'm like, before. damn. They mm -hmm. not even letting. I'm just hey, remember when we went to up. that liquor store? We went to a liquor store. We just in someone neighborhood. You know, you can just tell. You feel me? Oh, yeah. We, we pull up in the, the liquor store. It's game members inside. Bro walk in. First thing the dude do, like, where you from? From oh, Orange yeah. County. I'm like, from Orange I'm County. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, was, we was way too thick on his ass. Right, like, right. He was like, oh, I can't even do that. I, was, I mean, I was blessed, though, low key. When I went to Fresno, the homies from up there, Madera, it's a little small part out yeah, there and I, shit. Yeah, I they, know a couple homies yeah. from they my thick, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they represent that double S and they yeah. thick. Yeah. Bro, they they I, when I went out there, they were like, you know what I'm saying? They embraced yeah. me and they were like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You good, bro. We was they was taking us out to bars after and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. I was like, damn. They, was they, they, had, they had a tight. From my dad, was, they from my uh Merced, right? Oh, okay. They from Merced, right? I, bro, I, I'm not even going to say that, but oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I, I, the, the word that comes in my head is Madera, but I'm pretty yeah. sure it's probably closer there, right? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. <clears throat> That's right, though. Hey, but they had it on lock, bro. Like, <laughs> like when I, you know what I'm saying? You could tell that it was it was super active because when we was there at the club and shit like that, yeah. um, they they had homies outside the club that, that wasn't coming in. They was just outside next to their cars and in their cars just waiting for anybody to pull yeah. up while we was inside enjoying ourselves and okay. shit. You know what I'm saying? So, like, they had it, they had it locked, bro. So that, but you, right. you could tell that, you know what I'm saying, they shit, shit, you shit. know what I mean, at any given moment, this wrong car pull up, you know what I'm saying, it's yeah. going to go down. And me being from, you know what I'm saying, man, I was born in my neighborhood, so I'm, a, I'm surrounded. I was surrounded with that shit my whole life, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, my sister come home and, and see a dead body in the, in the middle of the street and shit. You know what I'm saying? Man. Like, you know, this was when I was before I was born. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had smokers trying to rob my dad in the front yard and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In his front yard. You know what I mean? Like, so, you know what I mean? You you more aware of shit, bro. You like more like, you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why I don't, I don't I don't be out there getting stupid drunk and shit. You know what I'm saying? When we're in different places, even when we go to different states, and shit like that, man. I try to keep my composure because there's gangsters everywhere, bro. That's yeah, fact. fact. That's, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's facts for real. Yeah, this shit so. going up in the background for sure. I'm just going yeah. up. Yeah, they. Hell yeah, bro. We probably gonna wrap it up. <laughs> they, 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 just, they, they just, they just, <laughs> they just made a, a hood vlog. It was gangsters in Alaska. You feel me? Oh gangsters shit! In Alaska. I'm like, damn, in Alaska. Oh god, <laughs> man, I ain't see that. Cold as fuck out there. <laughs> I'll be like, it's too. It's it gotta too be cold. a hood in Alaska. <laughs> I'll be like, it's too cold two. to go on a mission, oh, bro. Like, like, man. there's two hoods in Alaska and they both beefing with each other. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> so then it's active. Hell, yeah. yeah. Nah, so that's y'all show though. We like to give people their flowers, man. You Hell know yeah, what bro. Yeah, yeah. You doing your thing, brother. Been doing for your real. shit for Been a minute. Doing your man. Shit for real, man. Oh yeah, man. Uh, shit, it ain't gonna stop, man. I don't know who the king is, but I'm definitely undisputed, man. You know. That part. You heard that? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Nah, man. Anything you want to say? Anything you want to shout out? Shit, man, at me against them, go fucking stream that everywhere. You know it what I'm saying? We going to be back in L.A. Say. May 12th and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I need my people to go up, check yes. my page for the tour. Where, where, where's it at? Where's it at? May 12th. May 12th. Uh, we just we just about to sign this contract, so I don't know exactly where it's at, okay. but it's definitely L.A. You know okay. what I'm saying? And uh, that, that shit going to that's, that's, that's gonna go up, bro. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? May 12th. You know what I mean? Shout out to the homies and all that. You, man. Go yeah. up real quick. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna pull up on yeah. the show. That's yeah, man. Hell. Nah, for real, man. Nah, I appreciate y'all having me, man. Anything yeah. we can do. Like I said, I, I haven't been hitting many podcasts and shit. They been hitting my homie models up and shit, but I seen y'all shit and I was like, yeah, let's go out there. Let's go yeah, do yeah. some shit. So you know appreciate you I fuck with y'all. Through. Hell yeah. Likewise, you know man. Yeah, Diamond Doe Show, man. Episode five. Let's go. Like, subscribe, all that. I never say that, but I got to say it this one time. Yeah, you got to.